Hello, today's application that we're going to review is the N22 Benchmark application. Uh, this Android application is also available for iPhones. Um, the purpose of this application is to compare mobile phones and uh, test their capabilities, hardware and software, uh, to and then give you the results to compare between uh, your phone and other phones. So when you open it up, it has different tests, um, you know, HTML5 test, video test, screen test, and then the test in the middle. So you just press this button and the test will begin. It will start testing your CPU, your uh, single thread integer, uh, your RAM, and display as well uh, you know graphics 2d and 3d and you know you just wait you know until it finishes up uh, the hundred uh, percent test as you can see up top here it's a six this my phone is a 64-bit uh, phone which is uh, different than the 32 bits it's double the throughput almost from the CPU to the RAM which makes it much faster. Uh, testing CPU integer performance right now. As you can see here, it shows what type of test is being done to the phone. Uh, the problem is, you know, I'm using the same phone to record this video, so it's going to use some of, of its memory and capability uh, to record the video and test at the same time. So the score is going to be a little less than usual. But the purpose of this video is to show you how to test your phone uh, capabilities and compare it to other uh, Android phones. So now it's testing the RAM performance. You know, it takes about maybe five minutes, uh, six minutes to complete. But uh, it depends on your phone, you know, how fast it is. And... Uh, how well it does and performs. Uh, this is, uh, you know, a really good uh, way to test uh, unbranded phones as well. You know, this phone is an HTC uh, M9, so you know, testing this phone is, uh, you know, pretty useful for users before they buy the phone to compare it with other types of phones in terms of performance. Uh, you know, for the Chinese, Chinese unbranded phones, when you test them, you can also compare them to, uh, you know, branded phones and see how their performance is doing compared to branded phones. So if you want to buy like Chinese brands, you know, um, you can test them using this application and compare them to uh, familiar uh, brands and see how well they do before purchasing. This is the 3D uh, display testing. The 2D testing was just right before this. And as you can see, you know, like, uh, there's no stuttering, there's no lag in the performance. It's pretty smooth, moving pretty smoothly in the 3D dimensional graphics. And uh, once it's done, it can compare the 3D capability, which is really useful when playing games and uh, especially modern games. And as you can see, it scored 45,880. And uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good score you know, nowadays, because there's so many com competition. But as I said, you know, I'm using the uh, camera to record this video. And this is uh, the score that I got while using the recorder. So if I, if I, you know, stop the camera and then use the tester, it will probably get a higher score. But you can see this, uh, there's a, this is the OnePlus One, HTC One M8, Hawaii, Huawei, Mate 7, Samsung Galaxy S5, 
you can go down Nexus 5, LG G3, HTC One, M7, and so on. If you press details, you can see here the details that are, uh, you know, for the multitasking, the CPU integer, single thread integer, the RAM, the 2D graphics and I/O, and database I/O as well, storage I/O. Uh, and the 3D graphics, you can see the dis display that's being used here, uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels. So this is, you know, about the performance as well, general performance. It will compare it, superior performance, tough, can spike, current market, flagship devices. It will just give you a description of how, you know, your... Uh, phone is compared to other phones strong gaming performance the game screen effects can limit uh, uh, is reached I don't know what that means it's supposed to mean effects can limit is reached anyways average battery performance surpassed 50% of other devices it's probably because my uh, battery is uh, still on the charger but in general this is the way to do it. You can test your device before you buy it or maybe uh, compare it to other devices. This is the info tab here and you can see the hardware installed on your phone. So this the model is the HTC One M9 Android 5.164 bits CPU, Snapdragon 810, and so on. So you can get all these information uh, on the phone after the test. So it tells you also what types of sensors you have as well. It's an extremely useful app to compare your phone capability to other phones. So uh, Kindly like, share, and subscribe the video, and uh, use the application if it's needed uh, before you buy any type of phone. You can see the results of the phone before you buy it on their website. So you go there, N22 Benchmark, and type the uh, name of the phone that you want to buy, and you can see the results and the score on their website before you test it and buy it. Uh, thank you very much for listening and see you next time.